In the year 1996, Bill Clinton was re-elected president. Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls had won their fourth NBA title. And rapper Tupac Shakur was gunned down in the streets of Las Vegas. Here in California, Proposition 215 was passed by 56% of its voters and was effective the very next day. For the first time, patients go ahead and possess and cultivate marijuana with a written or oral recommendation from a doctor. Fast forward 19 years and California has the oldest and largest medical marijuana system in the country. Yo, what's up? My name is Chris with G Pharma Labs TV and we're here in the Los Angeles Convention Center at the Cannabis World Congress and Business Exposition. How would you describe this event? This is a great event. It's bringing together people from all over the country and California as well who love cannabis and are really successful in the business world as well. Fantastic Expo, uh, CWE did it again. They uh, succeeded in New York. They've succeeded again here in Los Angeles and one of the better events we've seen all year. Unlike consumer and patient shows, this business event is for owners, managers, and investors in this fast growing industry. Let's go take a look at the innovators of the future. Yo, what's up? It's Chris with G Pharma Labs TV, and I'm here with CEO Ada Gonzalez of G Pharma Labs. How are you doing today, Ada? Good, man. How about yourself? I'm doing good. How would you describe this event? This event, you know, it's the first time we have one of these events in, in LA, business to business. We have the, the High Times Cannabis Cups and those type of events, but uh, never an event where you see where the industry is going, how it's flourishing, uh, and the people behind the brands. At the time when we operated dispensary, uh, it was the products that were out there weren't up to my standard, and I saw a huge opportunity there to uh, bring something to the patients that really was lacking and it was a complete cannabis line of products. It wasn't just chocolates, it wasn't just vape oil, it wasn't pre-rolls. G Pharma Labs wants to provide good quality consistent product uh, at a good price and that's really the mission that we've had from the beginning uh, to make sure that we uh, infuse good quality products consistent every time and package them well uh, so the patient knows exactly what they're eating every time. Marabax manufactures a full line of vacuum sealers and the purpose of this is to protect the, uh, the product in the cannabis industry. Our menu system, it, it's not just a picture that hangs on the wall. You know, you could go, you could print out a poster, you can use a whiteboard, you know, and, and it'll get the job done. But what we do allows the collectives, allows the dispensaries to get a message across, you know. They can put the strains up, they can advertise brands, they can push edibles, but more importantly, they can educate. Medicine Man is a marijuana company in Colorado. We both retail uh, and we, we cultivate marijuana there. We are one of the largest in the state and an industry leader. And then we also have our consulting company, which we have a booth here. It's called Medicine Man Technologies. And we help people that have the desire and the money and the influence but they don't have the know-how to start a marijuana company in, in their state, and they hire us to provide that know-how. So we help people through licensure, uh, designing their facility, training their employees, getting their systems up and going, and getting them running in a steady state. It must be great to have uh, some stability, and uh, unlike uh, us in uh, the wild, wild west, where it's the definite gray area. I know that feeling, it's horrible. I used to go to work, and I'd turn the corner, kind of le leaning around, looking for black SUVs, <laughs> And, uh, and just wondering when it was gonna happen. And I don't feel that anymore. I don't have the dreams of, of being in prison and, and, and being away from my family for a long period of time. And I don't know, it, it's, you know, having real business problems to worry about like employee issues or banking issues or whatever is so much better than worrying about stuff like that. Well, well hopefully we'll go ahead and add a part two to this segment and uh, hopefully go ahead and uh, check out Medicine Man for ourselves. That'd be awesome, I'd love to show you around. Speaking of our sponsors, I want to make sure that I 
Give a shout out to our platinum sponsor, G Pharma Labs. If you've been on the show floor, what a group. It's incredible. We work as a team extremely hard. And you have to work as a team in order to make it in this industry. So we became a, a cannabis company. And I believe we were, if not the first uh, complete line of cannabis products branded nationally, G Pharma Lab was. We wanted to create a cannabis company. At the end of the day, we were growers, and with that plant, we were able to do a lot of things. Even, uh, it's very exciting for somebody my age to uh, walk around and, and see all the uh, new economic activity that is being created because of the uh, progressive uh, policies concerning marijuana. All right, everybody, let's make sure we get this done and get this legal next year. Yeah. Thank you. Our mission is really to legitimize the industry. You know, I mean, just some of the things that we've talked about. You know, our core values here are doing the right thing. You know, showing people you care and being a part of the solution. Um, and we know that when you do those three things, good things come. Hey, this is Crystal G Farmer Labs TV here at the Dutch Masters booth. I'm here with CEO Craig. How you doing today, Craig? Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. So, Craig, um. How has this event been for you guys? This, this event's been amazing, truly amazing. It's been one of the better events I've been to all this year. And I've done, I done Seattle, I've done Denver, I've done Portland, and this one has kicked it completely. Does it have anything to do with it being held in California? Yes. Okay. I, <laughs> Being in an industry that's been uh, looked down upon as a criminal crime, how do we market this industry? Definitely um, keeping respect um, to yourself and really just showing people this is a plant that helps people or even if you're just an ancillary, serv ancillary services company who helps cannabis companies, you know, this is a legitimate business option so portray yourself uh, in a a uh, respectful manner and be businesslike, be professional, and I think we're going to really go far and change other people's minds because that's what really changes people's minds is when they see how successful we are and that we have careers and lives. Um, it kind of makes people like cannabis a little more. We are opening up 50 million dollar, 50,000 square foot clubs called Purple Haze Lounges with the owner and creator of Hard Rock and House of Blues. And we're gonna be balling out and coming out in Colorado, Denver, Los Angeles, uh, Portland, Oregon, Las Vegas, Vancouver, Jamaica, and London. Rolling out next year for everybody to be able to participate in an awesome cannabis brand. Now that is definitely a dream come true. So Harry, I just want to go ahead and recap the whole event and uh, what's been the highlight of this event for you? Just meeting everybody in this business, you know. Uh, you know, usual cannabis shows, you, you get to meet a lot of uh, patients, you know, consumers. But this is more of a business meeting. Exchanging information, talking to everyone has been great. You know, it's been, it's been pr probably the best thing, I would say. With about 100 exhibitors and over 2,500 attendees, I could definitely say this was a major success. I just want to give a shout out to the Cannabis World Congress and Business Exposition. And with the historical medical marijuana bill on Governor Jerry Brown's desk, the possibilities are endless where this industry will go ahead and take us. This is Crystal G Pharma Labs TV. Stay up. <laughs>